So we are trying to pair a Bluetooth game controller in Windows and you receive an error. Connection with this Bluetooth device failed, no pairing response received. The first thing to understand is wireless does not necessarily mean Bluetooth. There are different ways to connect devices wirelessly and not all of them are Bluetooth. The most notorious one is Xbox 360 controller. 360 had two types of controllers. The first one was wired. A USB wire was permanently attached to the gamepad and this was a wired device. It does work with computers, however, you have to plug it into USB. The second type of Xbox 360 controller was wireless. And even though you could attach USB cable to it, the cable was used only as power source. There is no data pins, and when you connect it to your Xbox USB, it uses the cable only for power. The connection itself is still wireless, and Microsoft uses its own protocol for high-speed, lag-free wireless connection. The reason for that is that Bluetooth protocol has very high latency. So many manufacturers, for example Logitech, use their own proprietary wireless protocols to reduce input lag to the point where a wireless connection is not distinguishable from a wired one. And to connect a wireless Xbox 360 controller to PC, you will need a special receiver, which plugs into USB. Similar thing happened with PlayStation 3, even though the DualShock controller does use Bluetooth, it uses a proprietary variant of Bluetooth and you have to jump through hoops to be able to pair it via Bluetooth. However, on newer gaming consoles, that is everything that was released after Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, the controllers are actually proper Bluetooth devices. Microsoft still uses its own proprietary connection when you connect the controller to the Xbox, however it has a normal Bluetooth connection for compatibility. So this video mostly applies to Xbox One controllers, PlayStation 4 and 5 controllers and all newer consoles. But the problem is not with the controller, it is not even with Windows. The problem lies with your Bluetooth adapter. In most cases you have a very cheap generic USB Bluetooth adapter that you purchased on Amazon or AliExpress and places like those. Those controllers are available in different shapes and under different brand names. The common thing between them is that they use CSR chipset. Again, there is no problem with CSR itself. It's a reputable developer and manufacturer of Bluetooth chips. The problem is those generic cheap Bluetooth adapters do not use real CSR chips. They use fake CSR chips or clones of CSR chips that present themselves as real CSR chips, they probably do not support all CSR functions properly, and thus Windows CSR drivers cannot actually communicate with the device properly. So basically these are counterfeit chips, they are not authentic CSR chips, and that's the problem. So the solution is very simple. You have to go to Device Manager in your Windows 10 or Windows 11, for example, and change the CSR driver for your generic Bluetooth adapter to a generic driver from Microsoft. A common mistake here is going to Bluetooth section of Device Manager. That's the wrong section. You actually need to go to Universal Serial Bus, that means USB, section of the Device Manager. Find your CSR controller here, so all you need to do is to right click on this device, select update driver, then browse my computer for drivers, then let me pick from a list of available drivers, then select generic Bluetooth adapter, if it's not shown in the list, then untick show compatible hardware, and then in the list of the manufacturers, go to generic adapter section and then select generic Bluetooth adapter. This will install a generic driver from Microsoft, which works with most Bluetooth adapters, and this will fix your issue. So this is Windows 10 and CSR. The same applies to different versions of Windows and different controllers. For example, on Windows 11, with a misbehaving Bluetooth radio from Realtek, the steps are exactly the same. The only difference is Realtek adapter does not show in the USB section of the device manager, 
but rather in Bluetooth radios. But you have to do the same thing. Change the driver to the generic driver from Microsoft, reboot your computer just in case, and this should fix the issue. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.